Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Lean Media, available from leanmedia.org. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, making some changes to your Amazon store. Uh, and you're an, I'm assuming that you're an Amazon FBA or an FBM seller. Um, so just a quick reminder, the processes I will show you, they may not work the same way for your business as they do for mine. And you are responsible for evaluating risk and following the terms and requirements for Amazon Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, and the Amazon Brand Registry all of which you will need in order to do what I'm about to show you. So here is my Amazon Seller Central homepage. This is how I run my, my FBA and my FBM campaigns. And if you have a store, they'll be available up here under Stores, Manage Store. By the way, this is an Amazon Pro Level Seller account. It's not the uh, individual seller account. So um, first of all, you need to have a Pro Level Seller account. And also, you need to have several brands that are registered in the Amazon brand registry for Amazon to allow you to even set up a store. So anybody getting to this page, I assume that you have a registered brand in Amazon brand registry, you have a store, and you wanna make some changes to the store. And that's what I'm gonna show you today, basically how to add a photo and uh, a new product to your Amazon store, to a certain page in your store. So I have two registered brands on Amazon. Uh, by the way, I don't only sell on Amazon, I also sell externally, and that's a pretty important growth strategy, but if you already have a trademark and you, uh, ha you're you selling things on Amazon, why not uh, create stores for them? Because it really lets you uh, set up some special advertising campaigns and whatnot. So anyways, come to this page, stores, and then click on the, uh, choose the brand, and then choose edit store. All right, so this is the store for the book brand that I started uh, seven or eight years ago in 30 Minutes Guides. There's a whole bunch of them right now. And basically, uh, this is now also, note that this is Amazon advertising. Uh, they recently, Amazon Seller Central, they kind of handed over control of the stores to Amazon advertising. It's okay with me. Uh, it basically looks the same. And I, you can see that I set up a whole bunch of different uh, pages and sub pages. So and this is what they look like. You can see a little preview. I have some stock photographs, I have text, I have the book covers, I have everything else. So here's another one for uh, your money. This is for people that are retiring or getting Social Security. And the thing that I want to change actually is the cheat sheets. This is a sub-brand within In 30 Minutes. Um, these are basically based on the full-size books. And what I want to do, you can see, it's looking a little bit plain. See that? There's just the cheat sheets and the ratings and the description and the price. That's it. I want to add a picture, like a professional picture, and uh, some maybe some uh, more close-up photos of the products in question. So let's here's how we do it. First of all, on the left side, select the page you want to edit. Okay, cheat sheets. You can change if you click it again. You can change the description. Uh, you can delete the page. I do not want to do that. So click done. So I'm back on cheat sheets. It's highlighted here. Uh, and then you can change things like you can make an original header. So I could change, I, I could switch out this header with something else if I wanted to. Product grid, that's what's here already. So if I wanted to, I can just, I can rearrange things a little bit. So let's say I can put the Google Docs cheat sheet first in the Excel cheat sheet second. You can see they just switched places or this one, Word 2019 Intermediate. Let's say I wanted to put that last on the list. I could just move that over and you can see it updated there. Um, but that's not what I came here for. What I want to do actually is you click done when you're done moving stuff around. I want to add a new section. So Amazon gives you all these different sections that you can do. Um, the split section I found is actually pretty useful to do. It's not the same as this. This is like a product grid. Where does it show? Yeah, this is a product grid that I have here. It won't let me add a new one because I already have one. I'm going to add a split section and then you can choose, um, the style you want. So you can do like two big square, two big rectangles, a big rectangle and two small squares, um, and all kinds of other permutations of this. So let's say that I want to do this. I want to do a basic section layout. I want to do uh, this particular setup here. So it actually shows, uh, this is the, th these are the existing items here. That's the text that I already have there. This is the new one. So basically the way to get started is you click add tile. And then it lets you choose a different thing. So I want to choose a, an image. And I actually already have an image in, my, in, my, in mind. Um, let's go to Upload. And in my stock photography, photo, uh, li my licensed stock photography, I do have some professional people. And let's see what I'm going to do here. 
I think I'm going to use this one right here. Young Office Lady Papers Underhand. So we'll upload the image. Didn't like that. Let's find another one. Sometimes uh, what happens is actually the image is too large. So you need to find something that's a little bit smaller. So uh, let's just do this one. I don't even know what this one is. We'll take, we'll see in a minute. All right, so let me do that one. That's good. Uh, and then here, I'm going, so also it lets you zoom in if you want. Do that a little bit. Um, I'm done with, oh, and then you can, you can do things like add a title. Like, so I might say something like uh, professional reference, references for work or for the office. Okay, you can add a link too. So I might link this to the Excel 2019 cheat sheet. Let's see if they can find it. Sometimes you need to search all of Amazon, which I will do, and here it is. That's mine, add that. All right, now click done for that. And now I'm gonna choose the other one. So again, just click on it. I am going to add, a, let's see here, product. You can do the same thing. Let's do um, Word 2019 cheat sheet. Search, search all of Amazon. Here it is. Okay. Uh, and then I can add some text. Um, you know, Microsoft Word cheat sheet. Okay. And what I could do here is I could either paste some text in or type something, and I could say, um, you know, easy tips and examples for MS Word. Includes keyboard shortcuts. Okay, I'm just gonna copy that, click done. All right, and then the last one is this one. So let's do a similar thing. I'm gonna do a product. So let's do a different one. Um, I have a LinkedIn cheat sheet. Search for that. No results. Search all of Amazon. There it is. LinkedIn cheat sheet. And you get the idea, okay? Quick tips and examples for LinkedIn uh, profiles, job searches, and networking. Okay. We're good. Click done. Now, um, the way it's set up now, the the uh, product grid is at the top. This text is at the bot in the middle, and then this is at the bottom. I actually want to move things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. You see this like little grid here next to the three tiles. You just kind of grab it with your mouse, and then you move it up. So now it's right under it's right under the uh, the header here. So when people come to the cheat sheets page, this is what they'll see. All right, and then they'll see the product grid and then they'll see some text. And I could keep on adding new sections if I wanted to. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna click submit for publishing. Uh, is it working? So fix these possible issues. I get this every single time I, I uh, submit something. And oftentimes these are errors for other parts of my other pages that I submitted a long time ago. And it's, it'll say something like, oh, you're missing a link. And honestly, it's, these are not major issues for the most part. These are optional issues usually. Sometimes it's an it's a issue that it's actually they won't publish it until you fix it. But in these cases, these are images that are missing a link. It's not a showstopper. I'm gonna ignore warnings and submit like it says right here. Okay, your store will be submitted for moderation review, which can take up to 24 hours. If approved, your store will be published. That's great. You can also request a publish date. Um, this is useful, for instance, if you're setting up a campaign, like a marketing campaign, and it will start on a certain date. Uh, I'm not doing that, so I'm just gonna click Submit. And um, yeah, review to be completed. Mod moderation status in review. Review to be completed by uh, August the 22nd, which is a few days from now. So I'm all set with that. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon FBA, uh, Amazon FBA, Amazon Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, I have lots of videos. Uh, go to leanmedia.org, click on video to see the videos, or go to blog to see 
uh, not only the videos, but also some longer blog posts on how to get the most out of, out of uh, all these various programs. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.